hey guys so we're gonna get straight into this video today don't forget to subscribe to my channel like this video and leave the comments down below okay you guys so I am taking my crayon case eyebrow pomade and that is the shade dark brown and I am first outlining my eyebrows and then I start filling them in and then right now I am spooling them out so that it doesn't look harsh to clean up my eyebrows, I am using my Juvia's Place I Am Magic Concealer in the shade 9. I will be priming my face twice today. First, I am using the Milk Makeup. Hydro Grip Primer. To prime my lids, I'm using my P. Louise Blank Canvas Base and I'm just dabbing that all over my lid and making sure it is dried down and blended out. For eyeshadow today, we are solely using the matte book. First, we are starting off with that brown shade and we are just going to blend that underneath our eyebrow. The next three colors we are going to be using is that yellow, green, and blue. However, I did not really like the yellow, so I went ahead and just covered it up with the blue and green together. But you guys will see that in just a second. And one tip that I do have for you guys, if you notice, I've been dabbing on my eyeshadow. Like You need to dab it on to get that very high pigment and then blend the edges out together. So dab on your product first, your colors, and then go back in and blend it out. And if you need to, just continuously build up on the colors to get the color that you want. It is time to cut our crease. We are using that same base shade that we used previously as a base for the entire lid. Now we're using that same base again to cut our crease. Once the crease is cut to your liking, we are going to use those three neutral shades right on the end of the matte book. And again, I am dabbing those colors on. And once I finish adding all the colors, I'm going to go back and blend the edges together so that everything goes together smoothly. Okay you guys, for my eyeliner today I'm using my e.l.f. liquid liner in the shade Jet Black and I like to do the outline of my wing first and then go back and fill it in.
and for my white eyeliner I'm using my crayon case white outliner and for the white I like to just go slowly and take a little bit at a time and if you mess up too much on the black you can always go back and add more black eyeliner For my foundation today, I'm using my Juvia's Place Stick Foundation in the shade Zambia. The first concealer I'm using today is my Revolution Pro Ultimate Coverage Crease Proof Concealer and I'm just adding this underneath my eye and this will help with any creasing that you may have due to wrinkles or lines. On top of that concealer, I'm taking my Juvia's Place I Am Magic Concealer in the shade 9 and I'm going to go over underneath my eyes again and then in all of my normal places that I would highlight and I like to now use a brush instead of a beauty blender to blend out my concealer. I just feel like the brush gives more coverage versus the beauty blender. And then to set our concealer we're using the crayon case chalk dust setting powder in the shade Y and first I like to use a thin amount to go over it all the places that I put a concealer and then after that I like to go over it again just to make sure that my face is matte if I want it to be super matte. To contour our face we're using the Juvia's Place Eye Magic Concealer in the shade 3 
and as you can see I'm taking a small brush and I'm going over the areas that I want to contour and then I am taking a fluffy brush and blending that out when you're blending your contour make sure you blend up and not down Now we are going to set everywhere we put contour concealer with the powder just to make sure everything stays in place. And lastly to contour my nose I've been using the Black Radiance Cream Contour Palette in the medium to dark and I like this cream because I just feel like it stays better and it's easier to contour around my nose and it makes it a lot easier for me to get the shape that I want. 